speak about the embryo transfer today. What are all, what is embryo transfer procedure? Actually, it is a daycare procedure. It is walk-in, walk-out procedure. It is a procedure where it is similar to a pelvic examination. A speculum is put in, cervix visualized panetta, a small catheter is passed into the uterus very gently under the guidance of abdominal ultrasound and embryos gets deposited under the visualization. So that's all is the procedure. There is no need for any mental stress. Don't take up any uh, stress factors because it is completely painless. And most of the times, actual procedure ka munadi or a dummy or a trial procedure irkanwe panni panga. Ada panni suppose cervix pore pa difficulty irkana and the factors alang correct panni panga. Third thing, anesthesia kudu ka vendi necessity definite ka kadeve kadeyada because the procedure hardly takes five minutes. And second, it does not cause any kind of pain at all. So there is no requirement of anesthesia. Unless until a patient is very anxious, very uh, like a not mentally prepared in spite of repetitive attempts at clarification of the procedure, at that times we can use anesthesia. That's all. So, another anesthesia teva kadeyada, but we need a full bladder. So, procedure kunadi we ask you to drink water, fill your bladder because under bladder it is gets nicely visualized. And post procedure, usually you can get up immediately and pass urine and then have your food and then you can walk out of the procedure. Generally, there are myths surrounding that you have to stay, you have to bed rest and this thing. Scientifically, it is not proven. There is no requirement of any bed rest or restriction of activities or any restriction of weightlifting or anything like that. But it's up to your choice like how to take it forward. But generally, rest is not mandatory. People who wants to continue work can continue work. People who are working from home, happily they can continue working from home. And generally, after the embryo transfer, if it is a day three transfer, 14 days later, we check for the blood test to confirm the pregnancy. And if it is a fifth day transfer, we confirm it on your 12th day, whether it is pregnant or not. And the rest of the information is put up in the detailed descriptions of the embryo transfer. If any queries, please do ask us. Thank you.